I want people to see the beauty beyond the pain that they go through. And I want them to be able to help each other rather than scorning each other for the work they do. I want to bring them together. I've worked all kinds of jobs. I've been a door-to-door -door salesman. I've been an advisor to President Clinton, been a director of education for a national laboratory, international laboratory. I've worked with people of all kinds of, of backgrounds. I'm after a better understanding of the world about me, about myself and the other people in it. I think that uh, what's most important in life is to learn as much as you can about different walks of life, about me about nature, about the world around you, and uh, try to share it with other people. Uh, what else are you what else are you here for except to except to learn? Like the sun over primeval earth. I like to think of sunshine coming over the mountains and filling each green fiber that grows with the distance of uncounted miles. But justice starts before that because of the lives that settle into the silt of oceans and the soul slow grinding of continental drift and the seeds that were planted millennia ago, the earth rolling over into itself, rising upward toward where the air is more thin and pure, and those seeds begin then to branch out as lichen, and moss springs at last from almost lifeless rock peaks. So that time... I, I think there are two things involved in poetry. You've got craft, which you can learn in a classroom, like meter, and does it rhyme, you know, all that stuff. And then you've got vision. And vision is what's most importantly. They don't teach you that in school, but vision is life experience. Just the, the pressure of working on the job and trying to take care of your family, uh, that's life. And that has to go into your art if it's gonna speak to other people. You're, you're, you're creating a language, you're building a culture, you're, you're bending your thought, which bends your, uh, the reality around you, around all of us. And of the seeds of human misunderstanding reaching out and trying to carry human growth one more step beyond this pitiful bag of rags we carry on our bone. We try, but in the flash of a lifetime captured on media, most things are done too fast. And what is fast is mostly wrong and is buried in the arms of nations turned against each other. I know it is the little things unnoticed that go on that get passed from one generation to another, one Harriet Tubman, one Martin Luther King, one Kennedy, one Gandhi, one starving boy, not exposed to media, but stretched out upon the mountains, draped beneath the cosmos, cold and dying, but reaching out toward that greater source of life, that sun that breathes life into our souls across darkness, that makes a difference across the raft of generations, that holds justice beyond the understanding of tired men and is justice that brings peace to those we never know. Art 
encompasses everything. It's not something you do in the studio or that you take a class in. It's life. We have to understand each other. We have to understand our responsibility and it's, the world is what we make of it. We have to use our thought and our words and, and make of it something better. <laughs>